Hello everybody, I am Sunny, your North Country Knitter, and I am very excited to be here today. I am finally starting a series here on my channel that I have been wanting to start pretty much since I started making videos <laughs> over a year ago, and that is yarn reviews. So to start, these yarn reviews are going to be my personal experience using a yarn. They may vary from what you experience using a yarn. That's okay. <laughs> These are just my personal experiences um, that I want to share with you. Uh, I know a lot of times we see yarns at a store that kind of look interesting and we don't know if we want to go for it. Um, so maybe I have a yarn that I'm reviewing that you've been on the fence about and this helps you decide one way or another whether or not you want to choose it. Um, these won't be overly technical. I will, of course, give the stats on the yarn, you know, yarn it, uh, yardage, where it was made, all that good stuff, but they're primarily going to be focusing on how my experience was with the yarn. If I had a lot of knots, if it was smooth to work with, um, my overall opinion on the yarn, that sort of thing. So to start with. The first yarn we're going to be talking about is Diablo Wild Prince by Hobie. Uh, this is the, <laughs> the ball band, obviously. Here is the yarn. Now I have used this, but unfortunately I no longer have the item that I made. However, I will insert a picture here, um, either right here or at the end of the video, probably right here. Maybe both, probably both. Uh, so you can see how it worked up. Um, I will get into what I used working that up here in just a minute. So jumping right into the stats, this is a, a mohair blend. It is 30% mohair, 30% nylon, and 40% acrylic. It is made by Hobie. Um, it was made in Turkey but uh, turkey i said it again this is like the fifth time i've done this video and every time i say turkey it was not made in turkey it was made in italy and designed in denmark i don't know why i keep saying turkey but i do uh, it recommends a needle size of four and a half to five millimeter or a us seven to eight and it does not give a crochet hook, but I'm assuming they might be interchangeable. I don't crochet, so I'm not entirely sure on that. Sorry. Uh, let's see. There are 25 grams. That's 0.9 ounces. There are 25 meters, and that is 246 yards. This is the color 11, which I do believe was pastel, soft pastels, yes. So let me get you a nice close-up here of the yarn. And when you get it, it does kind of come, it comes like this. So it kind of like sticks together, which was really cool. This was my first time ever that I'm aware of that I used a mohair blend. I don't recall ever using one before. On this, is my shirt going to give a nice, <laughs> I'm trying to find where you can see it. So on this blend, you can see it is tightly wound there in the center with the mohair uh, floofs coming off, as you can see. I don't find, okay, I'm back. My phone decided to cut me off. So again, this is my first experience that I'm aware of working with this. And you do have, well, I mean, when you pull it, the mohair is gonna come off like that. But working with it, I didn't find that it was overly like, things flying all around. Um, so you have that center string there in the middle. Let's see if I can get a darker spot. And then all the mohair kind of comes off the sides like that. I paired this up with Lion Brand's Woolies in their worsted weight. And I found that it gave it a really nice effect. Oh, there it is. Unfortunately, it's the two of them together. I was originally going to pair this with white, 
but then I decided I liked it with that blush color a little bit more. Um, I would definitely say, and this is a, a, a novice coming at you here, I would definitely say you want to pair this up with something because it is extremely fragile. Uh, I did not have an issue when I was working with it, especially when I had when I had it up against another, um, you know, kind of sturdier yarn. Uh, but on its own, it's quite fragile. Um, I wouldn't want to knit this up all by itself. So it is a hand wash and lay flat, and. It's a regular price from Hobie of $6.99. And yeah, they have a solid version of this Diablo, um, which is 50 cents cheaper. Even at sale price, it's 50 cents cheaper. So um, let's see what else. So my first impressions when I got it, that it was very, very soft. I enjoyed the feel of it like up against my skin. It was very warm. I was pretty excited to work with it and see how the colors turned out. Um, and as you can see from the hat, which um, again, there'll be a picture at the end since we've already gone past it. I thought it came out really, really pretty. There were a lot of colors to choose from. Um, ranging from, you know, dark and bold to obviously this nice and light pastel. And I found it easy to work with. And I, I really liked the color options that were available. I kind of wish I had gotten some more, maybe some of the more bold colors so I could pair it up with a uh, black yarn to see how those would turn out together. But um, I didn't think those would work well. I... I liked it. I'd, I'd like to get some more and see how it works up. I am probably going to wait for it to be on sale again because I got this when it was on sale in January and it was like $4.70 where regular is $7.99. I think I'd wait for it to go on sale again. Although I did get quite a large, um, ball of it like there was there was quite a bit left the hat I made was a slouchy hat so it was pretty big and I still have a lot left here could I make another slouchy hat uh, maybe if it was a kids so we'll see um but yeah I'd love to know if you have any questions down below about it and if I can answer it for you I definitely will Again, uh, this is just my own personal opinions. I was not paid by Hobie or affiliated with them in any way, shape, or form. I purchased this yarn with my own money, and this is just something that I wanted to start doing was these yarn reviews and share them with you all. So would I buy it again? Yes, because I love deals I'd probably wait for it to be on sale again <laughs> but that's just me obviously um if I needed some more of this right now I wouldn't have a problem uh paying the seven dollars for it so that is my personal opinion and review on Hobie's Diablo Plint Diablo Wild Prince <sighs> talking uh <laughs> if you want to check them out I will post the link down below I know they're kind of expanding this Diablo yarn line um so yeah that's what I have for you guys so hopefully you found that helpful if you've been looking at that and been on the fence about whether or not to get it if you have any questions please ask them down below and I will do my best to answer them um if I cannot answer them I will let you know <laughs> All right, everybody. Thank you so much for watching and I will talk to you again soon. Bye.